Hi, how's it going folks? I'm Scott Stragon and this is Art Survival Evolved My Beginner's Guide and welcome to our new base location. As you see I've stuck just down a couple of wee marker uh, foundations just so I don't forget where I am and we've got a wee fob set up just in case we happen to die with the cold but I doubt that will happen very much due to having the litter, uh, it's keeping us nice and warm, we're not even snowflaking which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm hoping you're enjoying the series, if you are hit that thumbs up, it helps the channel a lot, uh, subscriptions as well, most appreciated and yeah, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, let me know what you think of the series so far and yeah, let's get started building this base. So it's taken me a wee while to actually find a space suitable for it. We actually were going to plan on building on an iceberg just in that way, but we came up to a bigger one. Um, it is pitch black, so I do apologise. Um, time waits for no man, but... So... The best way to do it, if you're building on a piece of ground that is, like, if you're certainly building without the clipping on, if you're, if you're, if you're enable it to clip in, then that's fine, you can build pretty much anywhere. If you're not got that enabled, like, official, then you really have to be careful, if not, it could be a very expensive and costly you end up wasting a lot more because you don't have the luxury of having S plus where you can pick everything up you do get a short time to be able to pick up foundations and stuff again but no you don't want to be wasting resources as you've seen through the word go for the very very first episode we've been crafting grinding up to this point and I'm hoping, I've still got metal cooking back at the other base, so I'm hoping we do have enough resources. As you see, we have a fair bit of CP. We do have a, um, some crystal over another box, but the metal is going to be the issue. It is surprising how expensive it is to actually build metal. Um, but... We'll get the initial foundations down, and before I even think about making a homely craft nice base, the crafting centre will need to go up so we can get the industrial forges that we pre-built and get the crafting centre ready. So the initial point is getting all the foundations down, getting everything lined up, everything set in place, and. Yeah, hopefully having an, a lovely top end base at the end of it. So, if I would stop blabbering on, and let's get started building this. Yeah, I'm going to lay the torch up. As you can see, I have got three markers. This is so we weren't wasting a lot of materials. So, the good thing is, we can just build over them straight away, so that gets rid of them, and we don't need, m we've got our pal here, he's going to be busy, as we were talking about in the other videos, mobile forges, he is one of the best, he can fly, he can go wherever you takes you, so he's one of the best for mobile forges, okay, so, I'm going to shut up now and get started with this building. So, yeah, enjoy.
Hi right, folks, as you saw there, we run out of metal. It just shows you how quickly we go through the metal when we're building actually metal structures and stuff. So we've had to come back to the base just to pick up some metal that's cooking away. This is why it's so important to try and get the crafting station up. Uh, once we get that up, then we can basically get our two indie forges on the go. We'll do a metal run, get them filled, metal runs, should say, and get them filled up and we'll be able to get plenty of metal cooking a lot quicker than what these three B4Gs are doing for us. So it's going to be just a time consuming, proce consuming process. So as you can see there, we've got pretty much everything ready to go um, for the crafting station. But somebody had the great idea of building two Indy Forges and three chem benches, which used up quite a lot of metal, so that's my fault. But, as I said, we are building PvE, and everything I do is based around PvE. So, we want a nice base and a nice crafting, nice crafting area, so... Yep. It's going to be a lot of shuttle runs back and forth. Hopefully these three will keep making our metal for us. Um, uh, there's still plenty of metal there kicking about. It's the foundations and that that seem to take up the most of the metal. So, right, I'll take this back over, get some more done. Okay folks, now that's us got our industrial, one of our industrial forges up. Um, it's going to be a lot bit easier making the metal now. Ideally I could have waited until we had all the resources and all that to build it, but we will we'll build as we go. That's the easiest way. So we're going to go up and we'll do our first metal run at this location. And we're going up to blow up because it's fantastic for metal.
Well, that's uh, poly run done. Uh, now on to a uh, oil run. And we can start getting some of these vaults made up. And start getting this crafting area finished. Well, folks, it looks like it's another, another time for another metal run. As you see, all that metal we got earlier on is pretty much gone. So, we've got a wee bit of metal runs to get both of these filled up and start getting some proper metal into this place. And we'll be back soon.
Well, folks, that's the crafting part, crafting area finished. It might get tweaked here and there as the series goes on, but for the time being, I'm quite, I'm quite chuffed with the way it's turned out. Yep, a lot of hard work, a lot of grinding, a lot of, a lot of metal. Um, at one point I had both of these full after the last metal run so this area here is going to be our main part of the base but I think we'll leave that for another episode I am absolutely shattered after building this um, it may not be as fancy as some people building or that but no, I'm quite chuffed with it it's, yeah, it's going to be a good wee crafting area for us to carry on with the, the series, hopefully. So, everybody seems happy anyway. Uh, so if you've enjoyed the video, uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. We subscription goes a long way, and yeah, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, let me know what you think of the crafting area. Um, maybe you might think uh, another way of being able to, something I've missed or that, but I think I covered pretty much everything. So, you just take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you in the next one.